excellence in technology, science, culture, business and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like and share our videos. To understand China's decision to cancel those wheat orders, we need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture, geopolitics. Think of the global stage as a giant chessboard, with countries like China, the US and Australia making strategic moves. Trade disputes and technological competition have created a climate of mistrust and rivalry. The wheat cancellation could be seen as a pawn in this larger geopolitical game. By cancelling orders, China sends a signal of its economic clout and willingness to use trade as leverage. Could China be using this wheat cancellation to bolster its own food security, lessening its dependence on potential rivals? Remember those trade tensions we talked about? They've been simmering for a while now, with tariffs and trade barriers being erected. The US-China trade war has seen both sides slapping tariffs on billions of dollars worth of goods, including agricultural products like wheat. Farmers in the US and Australia, facing higher tariffs, might be hesitant to plant as much, fearing a surplus they can't sell. Is China's wheat cancellation a direct result of these trade wars? It's certainly a possibility. Now, let's shift our focus to China itself. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, China has a gargantuan appetite. To meet its food demands, China has historically relied on a combination of domestic production and imports. But in recent years, there's been a growing emphasis on self-sufficiency. China has been investing heavily in its agricultural sector, modernizing farming practices and increasing yields. If China is producing more wheat domestically, it might be less reliant on imports. However, balancing domestic production with global imports is a delicate act. China's agricultural land is limited and factors like climate change and water scarcity pose ongoing challenges. The heartland of America, vast rolling fields of golden wheat stretching as far as the eye can see. Farmers here pour their hearts and souls into cultivating this precious crop. But the news from China has cast a long shadow over these idyllic landscapes. The cancelled wheat orders threaten to dampen the spirits of even the most optimistic farmer. What does it mean for the American farmer who has come to rely on China as a major buyer? The China wheat cancellation is a stark reminder of the volatile nature of global trade and the precarious balance upon which their livelihoods depend. Half a world away, under the scorching sun of the Australian outback, another group of farmers grapples with the implications of China's decision. Here, wheat farming is a way of life, passed down through generations. The news from China has sent ripples of concern through this remote corner of the globe. The cancelled wheat orders threaten to disrupt the delicate ecosystem of Australian agriculture. Will they be able to find new markets for their wheat, or will they be forced to scale back production? The questions echo across the outback, as vast and uncertain as the land itself. The impact of China's wheat cancellation extends far beyond the borders of the United States and Australia. The global wheat market is thrown into a state of flux. Prices begin to fluctuate, like a compass needle searching for its true north. Will the price of bread rise as a result of China's decision? The uncertainty sends a shiver through the global food system. Amidst the uncertainty and concern, there's also a sense of opportunity. China's decision to cancel wheat orders could be a catalyst for change, reshaping the global trade landscape. Countries like the US and Australia are incentivized to diversify their export markets and forge new partnerships. This could lead to a more balanced and resilient global food system. The cancellation of 1.5 million tonnes of wheat might be a bump in the road, but it's also a wake-up call. Imagine a game of Go, the ancient Chinese strategy game, where each move is a calculated step in a complex, long-term plan. That's how we need to view China's approach to food security. China understands the strategic importance of securing its food supply. The wheat cancellation can be seen as a calculated move to strengthen its position in this global game. By reducing its reliance on imports and bolstering its domestic production, China is aiming to gain greater control over its food destiny. Step into the heartland of China, far from the bustling megacities, and you'll find a quiet agricultural revolution underway. Terraced rice paddies, fields of wheat, and farmers tending to their crops with dedication. China has never forgotten its agricultural roots. 
The government has invested heavily in agricultural research, developing drought-resistant crops, improving irrigation systems, and promoting sustainable farming practices. The goal is ambitious, to achieve a high degree of self-sufficiency in staple foods like rice and wheat. China is determined to feed its people, come what may, and that means taking control of its own agricultural destiny. In the game of global food security, it's not just about what you grow, it's also about who your friends are. China understands that strategic alliances are crucial. China is cultivating food security alliances through initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative. These alliances take many forms, including investing in agricultural infrastructure projects and securing long-term supply agreements. By building these relationships, China is positioning itself as a leader in global food security. In a world where food is power, China is determined to be both a producer and a partner. So where does this all leave us? The cancellation of one and a half million tons of wheat is just a ripple in the vast ocean of global food security. The bigger question is, what kind of future are we sailing towards? Will it be a future where countries cooperate to build a more resilient and equitable food system? Or will it be a future where food becomes a weapon, leaving millions hungry? The future of food is in our hands. Let's choose wisely. As we've seen, the seemingly simple act of China cancelling one and a half million tons of wheat orders opens a Pandora's box of complex issues. Geopolitical tensions, trade wars, the quest for food security. These are not just abstract concepts, but real-world challenges that affect our daily lives. The food we eat, the prices we pay, and the stability of our economies are all intertwined with these global dynamics. They're forces shaping the world we live in, influencing the price of bread on our tables, and the stability of nations around the globe. When a major player like China makes a move, it sends shockwaves through the entire system. The China Wheat Saga is a stark reminder that we live in an interconnected world where events in one corner of the globe can have ripple effects felt thousands of miles away. It's a complex web of cause and effect, where no action is isolated. This interconnectedness also means that our vulnerabilities are shared. A drought in one region can lead to food shortages in another, and political decisions can have far-reaching consequences. It also highlights the growing importance of food as a strategic asset, a source of both power and vulnerability in an increasingly uncertain world. Nations are beginning to recognize that food security is not just about feeding their populations, but also about maintaining stability and influence. As countries navigate these challenges, they must balance their own needs with the demands of a global market. This balancing act is becoming more precarious as climate change, population growth, and economic pressures intensify. What does the future hold? Will we see more such disruptions in global food markets? The answers are not clear, but the questions are becoming more urgent. Will countries retreat into protectionism, hoarding resources and building walls? Or will they find ways to cooperate, to build a more resilient and equitable food system that benefits everyone? The path we choose will have profound implications for the future. Protectionism might offer short-term security, but it could also lead to long-term instability and conflict. On the other hand, cooperation and collaboration could pave the way for innovative solutions and shared prosperity. By working together, countries can develop strategies to mitigate risks and enhance food security for all. Sustainable farming practices, technological advancements and international aid programmes are just a few of the tools at our disposal. These efforts can help create a more resilient food system that can withstand shocks and adapt to changing conditions. The answers to these questions remain to be seen, but one thing is certain. The stakes have never been higher. The decisions we make today will shape the future of food security and global stability for generations to come. As we stand at this crossroads, we must choose wisely. The future of our food, our economies and our world depends on it. Now, you might be wondering, what does this all mean for me? That's a fair question. The recent news about the wheat cancellation has left many people puzzled and concerned. It's not just a headline, it's a complex issue with far-reaching consequences that touch various aspects of our daily lives. The truth is, the impacts of this wheat cancellation 
like the ripples from a stone tossed in a pond, will be felt far and wide. Imagine a single event causing a chain reaction that affects everything from the food on your table to the stability of economies around the world. It's a scenario that underscores the interconnectedness of our global systems. It could affect food prices, trade relationships, and the availability of certain products. When the supply of a staple like wheat is disrupted, it can lead to higher prices at the grocery store, making it more difficult for families to afford basic necessities. Farmers' markets might see fewer products, and shipping ports could experience delays as countries scramble to find alternative sources, and even political stability in some regions. In areas heavily dependent on wheat imports, the sudden shortage could lead to unrest and protests. Governments might face increased pressure to find solutions, leading to heated political debates and potential shifts in policy. But it's not all doom and gloom. Amidst the challenges, there are also opportunities for positive change. This situation could serve as a catalyst for innovation and resilience in the agricultural sector. This situation also presents opportunities for greater diversification, innovation and the adoption of modern technologies. Researchers and farmers might work together to develop new crop varieties that are more resilient to climate change and other challenges and cooperation in the global food system. Countries might come together to share knowledge and resources, fostering a spirit of collaboration that benefits everyone. International conferences and meetings could pave the way for new agreements and partnerships. We might see countries exploring new trading partnerships, investing in sustainable agriculture and implementing practices that are better for the environment. Greenhouses and other innovative farming methods could become more common, helping to ensure a steady food supply and working together to address the root causes of food insecurity. By tackling issues like poverty, climate change and inefficient food distribution systems, we can create a more equitable and sustainable future. The key takeaway here is that we need to be aware, informed and proactive. Staying updated on these issues through reliable news sources, documentaries and educational seminars can help us understand the complexities and take meaningful action. We need to be engaged, participating in community meetings and discussions to voice our concerns and ideas. Grassroots activism can play a crucial role in driving change and holding leaders accountable. And we need to demand action from our leaders to create a more just and sustainable food future for all. By advocating for policies that promote food security and environmental sustainability, we can help shape a better world. Because when it comes to food, we're all in this together. Sharing meals, supporting local farmers and participating in community gardens are just a few ways we can contribute to a more resilient food system. Together, we can make a difference. That's it for today's deep dive into the intriguing world of wheat, geopolitics and the quest for food security. We've explored how the global wheat market is influenced by political decisions, economic policies and environmental factors. From the vast wheat fields that stretch across continents to the intricate web of international trade agreements, every element plays a crucial role in shaping our food systems. I hope you found it insightful, eye-opening and maybe even a little bit unsettling. The complexities of food security are vast and often hidden from plain sight, but by shedding light on these issues, we can better understand the world we live in. It's not just about the wheat on our plates. It's about the livelihoods of farmers, the stability of economies, and the well-being of communities around the globe. But remember, knowledge is power. And by understanding these complex issues, we're better equipped to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Whether it's through making informed choices at the grocery store, supporting sustainable farming practices, or advocating for fair trade policies, each of us has a role to play in this global narrative. Now, I want to hear from you. Your voice matters in this conversation and your insights can help shape future discussions. What are your thoughts on China's decision to cancel those wheat orders? Do you think it will have a significant impact on global markets or is it just a minor blip in the grand scheme of things? What questions do you still have? Are there aspects of this topic that you feel need more exploration or clarification? 
And what other burning global issues would you like me to tackle in future videos? From climate change to technological advancements, the world is full of pressing topics that deserve our attention. Drop your comments below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all things Revo Now. Your engagement helps us bring more in-depth analyses and thought-provoking content to you. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and, most importantly, stay hungry for knowledge. The journey to understanding our world is ongoing, and together we can make a difference. Thank you for being a part of this community, and I look forward to our next exploration together. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.